What's up cool people, my name is Victor and I love toys and today I'm showing you some toy photography tips by showing you how I took a picture of a Lego minifigure using just this one little LED light. Here's the picture. I focused on getting the highlights on the helmet to show its shape while keeping the image very low key, meaning dark, basically because it's Vader. And now here's the setup. The background is a plain white sheet of poster board that I got at the craft store for about a dollar. The light is a small LED light panel that I got on Amazon for about $12. I think you can search LED video light or LED light panel to find it. If you want to know exactly which light it is, leave a comment below and I'll figure it out and respond. Then I made a light modifier called a snoop out of a black foam sheet, also from the craft store for about a dollar, and some tape. It gives you a small spotlight, basically. Then on the right, I have a piece of white cardstock folded in half, which I'm using as a bounce card. It bounces back a little bit of light onto the figure. I used the white background and the bounce card to separate Lord Vader just a tiny bit. If I had used a black background or no bounce card, his helmet would just kind of blend into the background, which could be cool too, but that's not what I wanted. I have the lights on right now, but I turned them off to plan and actually take the picture. I used a boom stand to hold the light, but usually for this kind of setup, I'd hold the light in my hand and use this remote to trigger the camera, which is on a tripod, which is very important to have a tripod for this kind of low light. If you don't have a tripod, you can prop up the camera like on a book or something and just use the timer function so that the camera is perfectly still when it takes the picture. Like I was saying though, I like to hold the light in my hand so I can move it to a bunch of different positions so I can see what looks good. At this scale, even an inch makes a big difference. Cases like this though, when I'm using a stand, I'll move the light around while looking at the camera screen to see what looks good. Then I just get the stand to hold it right there. I liked it here because the highlights define the helmet in a nice way and the light is actually pointed downward toward the camera which gives you that little bit of blurry glare on the bottom. I think it looks cool. I used a DSLR camera with a macro lens to get this shot, but here it is with my phone. It's not as good, but it's still pretty good. Both of these photos are without any photo editing, so you could see what that looks like, but you could always improve things with a little bit of work in that area. Like so. Anyway, did you guys like this video on toy photography? Would you like to see more videos with tips like this? Let me know in the comments. Thank you all very much for watching. You get extra cool points for staying to the end like this. Uh, please do the YouTube stuff if you want. You know, the liking, smashing, whatever. And I'll check you later.